Welcome everybody, you're watching Mr. Fugu Data Science. Today we will talk about new features of Ideogram 2.0, a text-to-image AI generator. From their website, the new model was trained from scratch and outperforms competitors in terms of text alignment as well as text rendering accuracy. There also appears to be an application for iOS and an API. Over the past year, the company has boasted that users have generated over 1 billion images that are publicly shown in the ideogram search function. One of the specified controls that they have been working on is image styling, such as realism, 3D, or even anime just to name a few. Odd aspect ratios are supported such as 3 to 1 or 1 to 3. Here's some examples from the documentation. Next, texture enhancements and photorealism are pivotal for this new version. Design style enhancements were mentioned as well as text on image. For anyone considering banners, advertising material, logo design, posters, greeting cards, or any kind of illustration, this is the product for you. They have included custom color palettes, which were a big change as well. Integrating a more granular approach to fine tune your images. These palettes can also be customized. There are two features called Describe and Magic Prompting. You can use Describe by taking an image that you have and generate a prompt for it. Then you can use the Describe metric to fine tune that image and create variations of it. The pricing has three pay tiers and one free tier. You have the option of paying monthly or annually with the slight discount. I suggest if you're learning or want to play around, use the free tier. You can use your images for commercial use and if you want private generations, then you have to bump it up to one of the higher paid tiers. So take that into consideration. A great idea would be taking these images and placing them into video sites like Runway ML. You could turn an image into video. What are the pros and cons for this tool? Can it compete with others or does it stand out alone? If you were new to Ideogram, I want to say that the images with embedded text such as expressions or words, they excel in Ideogram. This is still a difficulty for most other text to image tools. The stylized fonts and integration within these images far surpass other companies current. We can make comparisons with Flux AI because that has been touted as one of the best text to image generations as well. Another note that I would like to mention are the realism and adherence to image prompts, which is another win for Ideogram 2.0. The color palette feature is great because I don't have to add additional information into my prompting. Sometimes weird things can happen with hands or it does veer off from a prompt. Nothing is perfect. I do like the free feature to practice my skills and the fact that I could use it for a commercial purpose. If you want to use Runway ML and create videos from these images, understand that the free version in the last week or two has been giving issues with Generation 3 free usage because it's too busy. You can use the prior version of two, but it's not the best in my opinion. Now with some of the cons with Ideogram AI. First, I'll talk about the terms of service and policies regarding privacy. Then I'll talk about the site itself. The subscription will need to be canceled within five days of auto billing renewal. Pay attention to this because it could be easily forgotten and a hassle. I don't like these type of business models when you could just add a button or a checkbox so you're not billed again. Next, you don't get a refund for the services or its credits. If you cancel during the billing subscription timeframe, you will still have access to your account until the day elapses for renewal. If they cancel, suspend, or terminate your account, you will lose access and you're denied a refund. The privacy policy is frustrating to say the least. They will collect as much information as possible about you, so please pause the video because this is important. One thing I don't understand, they said they look at your emails. Is this emails related to your account with Ideogram or what emails? I wish more people would step up to companies like this with the egregious billing practices or the fact that they erode any semblance of privacy for users on most platforms. Some of the gripes I had offer very minimal. If you're doing generations with people, the hands and the faces, you could have some issues and you'll just start eating up credits, redoing it, redoing it, redoing it, creating further generations. That's something I would consider. This is still an issue with pretty much all the text to image generators. Flux is pretty good with the photorealism, but you're not going to get that for free. Also, consider that some features are premium, which should be expected, like private generations. That could probably frustrate some people if they don't want the work public, but maybe they don't have the means right now 
not to get a subscription. And if you want a private, you have to get the second highest tier, which is about $16 a month billed annually. A few other things, if you wanted to upload images and then generate a prompt from the image, you can't do that on the free service. Let's pause the video real quick. If you feel this content's useful, feel free to hit a like and subscribe. And if you subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Let's get back to the video. Placing more significance at the beginning of the prompt fixed the issues that I had with the text not rendering correctly. I would like to showcase two quick examples as a comparison of the same prompt using Flux AI and Ideogram. The first is a text block that's pretty long. Here's the first image, which is from Ideogram. The second image will be from Flux AI and labeled that way. The second set of images will be a text block that's stylized with someone's name. We're going to check that out as well to see the results. For some reason, the first large text box worked pretty good with Flux Schnell, the simplest model. But for some reason, when I tried to do this image, it kept giving me errors and I had to switch to the Flux Dev model. Out of one generation of four photos, one was correct and the other one was missing a single word. So you may need to change models. It appears like ideogram. It's more lax in understanding of embedded text, obviously. That's where it shines. Overall, there's some really good pros with using ideogram. The fact that it could do the embedded texting, and that's probably what it's best known for. You can get some pretty good realistic images that could compare with Flux AI. I'm not sure if it could compete with the professional model with Allura yet. Some of the other paid features are pretty good if you wanted to take an image, generate a prompt, do some remixing, tweaking to it. That's a really good thing. If you do on the, the pricing, $16 a month is not bad, but you have to consider not all the images you use will suffice for your needs. You'll have errors or things like that that you need to generate it again or change your prompting. So take that into consideration. The fact that you can use all your images for commercial use, even if it's free, that's perfect. I just don't like the structure for the privacy policy. I'm not fond of that. A lot of companies who like this, it's just something that detracts me. But aside from that, I think it's a good competitor for Schnell. If you could find Schnell for free, I would do that. But that's the end of this video. Thanks. I hope this brought utility to some of you and you learned something new. That's the conclusion of this video. The next video, I'll do the second part for the web scraping tips. Then after that, we're going to do a full web scraping video, start to finish uh, with coding. I'll have a few different libraries in there. If you'd like to help support the channel, I would appreciate it. Consider buying me a coffee. If you can't do that, just throw a like. It really does a lot for a channel like mine to help get pushed out through the algorithm. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Run free and dive into the sky Hear the